Hello everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence asking forgiveness of my sin so my prayer can enter your holy throne. I thank you, Lord God, for all of your blessings this weekend. Thank you for your companion and communion. Thank you for the day of rest that we had. Thank you, Father God, for allowing your Holy Spirit to be manifested and felt in each service with each sermon. Father, I ask you that as we start this week, you will be our Lord, our King. You will take that first place in our lives. Father, may we look to you for our guidance, our strength. May we look to you as our propitiation and expiation of our sins. Father, thank you so much for the work that you did on the cross for us. Thank you because you atoned our sins. You paid the debt that we had to pay and we can be clean and forgiven of our sins. Father, I ask that you'll be in this devotional today. Help us to understand what it is that we are listening to. Help us to know how to apply it to our lives, Lord. Help our spiritual lives grow and take the honor and the glory of all that we do, say, think, and feel. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, With Him, Everything. It was written by Jose Anduenes and translated by Nelson Berries. Our biblical base comes from Matthew chapter 11, verse 25 through 30. So says the word of God. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and have revealed them to the babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in your sight. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, nor does anyone know the Father except the Son, and the one to whom the Son wills to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. The exhaustion that our being suffers from the continuous struggle trying to walk in the world without Christ is overwhelming. Many times it is due to stubbornness or ignorance, other times because the enemy seduces us with flattery and trickery, temptations that divert the intentions of the heart. The truth is that they wear us down until we feel an inexplicable tiredness. So we ask ourselves, why is God silent? He expects us to learn that without him we are nothing. Ignoring the Lord only results in an empty, incomplete, and unhappy life. Earthly things will not be able to satisfy that emptiness of God in us. Just try. Come and sit at Jesus' feet. Follow his path. You will not regret it. You will begin to recognize what is really important, the eternal, the wonderful, and the truthfulness of the promises of the Lord. Stop fighting on the wrong side in which defeat has already been written. Come and walk next to Jesus. With him, everything is possible. Without him, I am nothing. The most powerful and real thing is that with him, I can do everything. Amen. My brothers and sisters, if we are tired of this journey, we are tired of this life of living here on earth. With God, all things are possible. He is our comfort. He has invited us today to take his burden, which is light, and give him our burden, which is heavy laden and laborsome and burdensome. My brothers and sisters, learn from him. He is gentle. He will give you rest for your souls, 
for your weary bones. He is our rest. My brothers and sisters, without him, we are nothing. We can accomplish nothing. We can do nothing. We can succeed at nothing. But with him, everything is possible. We have rest. We have joy. We have peace. We have comfort. We have the forgiveness of our sins. We have the strength to continue from day to day. With him, everything. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I see. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel, Lord, to give up, I'd be a fool. Amen. What a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading as we continue our journey through the Old Testament. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen. <music> 